Hello, I'm Cryptosi, and in this short and simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get your MetaMask set up so that you can start using EtherGem. It's really very simple, so let's get to it. Okay guys, let's get going. Right, so we're on the Ethergem site. The first thing we want to do is we want to add MetaMask to our, this is just a Chrome browser. Uh, you can add it to Chrome, Firefox, or Brave browser. It's up to you which one you use. I know most people use Chrome, so the tutorial's in Chrome. But the process is pretty much identical for whichever browser you use. I'm going to click here. If you already know how to install metamask and you check below you should see a handy timeline uh, just skip to the part which is about the actual ethergem integration so first we want to do here is metamask chrome extension now we'll click metamask chrome extension here uh, one thing you want to check quickly uh, obviously check the padlock up here make sure that you're actually on the chrome store or whichever store for whichever browser you're using check that there's loads and loads of users um, i've not heard of anybody creating fake metamasks but it's the type of thing that happens in crypto so that's what you want to check make sure you're downloading the right thing uh, loads of reviews loads of users i'm confident this is the right one so i'm going to click add to chrome uh add extension yes whilst this is happening it's just installing it and things like that you need two items you need a book to write down your seed phrase which we're going to come to in a few seconds and you also need a pen or you need a book to store it and a pen to write it so let's get started if you've already got a seed phrase you probably don't need to watch this tutorial like i said timeline down below you can skip all this uh, we're going to go with create a new wallet uh help us improve metamask yes because we're helpful people all right, create a password. This password is pretty important, so make sure you write it down and remember it. I'm just going to use CryptoC. One. It's not a password I use anywhere else, it's literally just for tutorial purposes. All right, this is the secret backup phrase that we spoke about before. This is very, very important. So I'm going to write this down. Once we click this padlock down below, it's going to reveal the words and we're going to write them down. So here we go. The reason why we're going to write these words down, I'm just literally writing them down now. The reason why we're writing these words down is that if you lose your machine or it gets stolen or it catches fire, you could get back into your MetaMask account. If you lose your machine, it gets stolen or it catches fire and you haven't written down this seed phrase, there's nobody on God's green earth that can then get you back into your MetaMask account. Nobody. So there's no point coming into Discord or going onto Twitter to complain. If you lose this seed phrase, then you're in serious problems. So again, you write it down somewhere safe and you store it away somewhere that you don't need to access because you don't need to access it regularly but you do need to save it definitely right so here we go confirm our seed phrase so now the order of this is very important i'm pretty sure it's not case sensitive but the order does matter casino kitchen trend sweet casino kitchen trend so i'm just clicking them all back in here Right, congratulations, you have now set up MetaMask. Okay, so like I said, that seed phrase is extremely important. If someone else gets your seed phrase, they can take all of your money. The fact that I've just put that seed phrase out there on this tutorial means any money I put into this wallet, anyone who watches this tutorial can then go and take. I may leave some money in there, actually, if you feel like trying to take it. Uh, one last thing you may want to do is just go up here and click this little icon and you can pin MetaMask in there just so it's ready to use whenever you're ready to go. Uh, in the next part, what we're going to do is we're going to add EtherGem to the MetaMask so that you can 
trade EtherGem or send and receive EtherGem inside MetaMask. Okay, so this is the final part of this tutorial. And in this part of the tutorial, this segment, we are going to take these settings here and we're going to use them to make our MetaMask interoperable with the EtherGem network. So basically that will allow us to send and receive EtherGem coins and the tokens on EtherGem blockchain via our MetaMask. So basically we can use EtherGem on MetaMask. It looks kind of difficult, it sounds kind of complicated, but it's really easy. We're going to get this done, I'm going to say in under a minute. So the first we want to do is open up our MetaMask. I'm going to open mine up completely so that you can all see it. Uh, you can do it in a small browser, but I find it slightly easier if you do it in this bigger version. Then you want to click on this guy here, and you want to scroll down to settings. You then want to scroll down to the bottom uh, when you've got the small browser extension open, and you'll see networks. But here we just find networks. So basically, settings, then networks. Then you want to add network. If you've got it in this big view, it will be over here. If you're using the small extension, it should be at the bottom. So you just click add network. Then it's going to ask you to input all of the details. So eGem. Uh, Chrome is actually snitching on me because I've entered this before. So it's remembered it. Uh, 1987. I'll put this in the description below if you want to copy and paste, because if you make a mistake on any of these, you'll get some quite unexpected results. So, explorer.egen.io. Once you've entered all of that, you just simply click Save. Once that's done, you'll realize that you've got eGen now added to your list of networks, and you can select it, and you can close this. So that's that, that's that done, uh, perfectly done. Now you can see that you've got zero eGem. Um, if you want to test that this is working, you simply copy your account address to the clipboard. This is your address that you can receive EtherGem to and all of the EtherGem tokens or any token that's on the EtherGem network, you can receive it there and um, have someone send you some EtherGem. I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to wait let you wait around. I'm just going to do it and then come back with the final results. Okay, so there you go. And you can see here that we've received 1.1 eGem. I'm just going to leave it in there so anybody who's quick and savvy can um, use the seed phrase that I added at earlier on and they can actually go and steal that. It's there to be stolen, guys. So first person there gets it. If you get it, come into Discord and, and brag. Thank you very much for watching. Right, thank you for watching that tutorial. I hope it gave you all the help that you needed. If you, you didn't find all the help that you needed in that tutorial, feel free to come and join us in the Discord. I'll put the link in the description in this video. It's uh, discord.egem.io. So yeah, just jump into the Discord and I'm sure somebody helpful will help you out and get you up and running in no time.